Hello again. Um, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about the crisis that I am currently in, that I mentioned in my first introduction, introductory video, um, just to kind of explain it. Um, I don't have a specific diagnosis yet. Um, the doctor said that it's somewhere between bipolar and borderline personality disorder. However, personally, I think that um, there is other things going on um, because I he hear voices and have thoughts, very intrusive thoughts. Um, but anyway, there's a lot more going on there, I think. Um, personally, I know you shouldn't self-diagnose or anything, uh, so I'm not really going that far, but if you look up on the internet about stuff, I think um, schizoaffective disorder probably um, sat is the one that I, you know, I think I fit the most, but um, I haven't had a diagnosis of that. I'm not saying that that's what I have got, but it just it seems to me that that's kind of what how I experience things. Um, as I say, I'm it's still in the middle of um, what's happening to me at the moment, and maybe the psychiatrist will give me um, that diagnosis at some point. I don't know. Um, anyway, does it really matter if you have got a diagnosis or not? I don't know. Part of me would like one so that I, I don't know, I've had these problems throughout my whole life really, on and off, and it would be nice to be able to know that it is down to this and, you know, it's not just me acting, I, I don't know, it, it would give me some security and and kind of feel like almost a kind of recognition I think if I got a diagnosis but at the moment I've just got to sit in this between bipolar and borderline personality disorder um sort of little gap <laughs> okay so just to tell you what happened recently um, basically, I've been quite depressed for the last eight months. Um, just not able to concentrate at work. Um, not feeling just that happy in myself. You know, general depression stuff. I've had depression quite a few times. Um, and I went to my doctor and um, got on citalopram, an antidepressant. So I, was, I kind of sat on that for a while. Um, but more and more... I just started to become quite, with, with my depression, quite agitated. Um, when I was um, at work, I couldn't do any, I just couldn't do any work. You know, I'd be staring at my computer screen for hours. Um, my head just felt like it was going round and round and round. Like it was trying to like attach onto a thought, but it couldn't quite get there. And one of the ways that I have explained it is like when, your streaming video on the internet and you get that little thing going round and round and it's because it's buffering it felt like my brain was doing that it's just going round and round trying to like like stop on a certain thought but it couldn't it just kept going round anyway it was horrible <laughs> um and that started ha happening more and more over longer periods until I was sitting at work not doing any work all day long I don't know how I could you know I've done no work for eight hours but I just somehow did um uh okay um I started being a little bit unhappy in my relationship um generally just you know di didn't want to do things quite as much um I started to get quite angry angry outbursts and just generally really irritable um Without going in too much into the really personal stuff, um, I ended up breaking up with my boyfriend. Um, and because I lived with him, this is all about four weeks ago, 
because I lived with him I had to go move out and I started I stayed in a friend's house um some friends who um were away on holiday um so anyway I was on my own in that house and that's when everything started to crowd in a little bit I started hearing voices it almost sounds like somebody in the next room mumbling um you know you can't quite put your finger on it uh you know I could definitely hear something but then yeah I was sort of I don't know I'm getting quite confused now <laughs> talking about it but so there was that um and I just started feeling really unsafe I started thinking a lot about self-harm a lot about suicide and it all started to culminate I couldn't I didn't sleep for about two days um the voices were coming more and more I was feeling more and more unsafe and so I finally I, I realized that I was going downhill and I have been there before so I went to the out of hours doctor and he um referred me to the crisis team um so the crisis team came out the next day and they saw me and I was in such a I was a right wreck I was shaking I was literally just shaking like that and I was so freaked out and I was scared um and then so they basically um referred me to um hospital they took me to hospital I went willingly um and that's yeah that's how I ended up there um, I was only in for three days, 72 hour observation and yeah it was an interesting experience. I have been in hospital before but it was um, when I was 13, 14 maybe, actually 14, 15 and I was there for about eight months um, but it was an adolescent unit, it was quite different from this and uh, this is a, it was an adult, obviously an adult unit. But um, I'll talk a bit more about what the hospital was like in my um, in another video. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to talk in this one about what led to me going in. Um, it's definitely a, a gradual thing that happened slowly over about eight months. And then it was just in the last month that everything really started to crowd in. My head just wouldn't shut up. It was just you know thoughts going through it at a million miles an hour um I couldn't sleep I started to just want to do things that were a bit you know dangerous and started feeling suicidal it was almost like the depression and the sort of um irritability and everything was all like coming together and it was just you know my brain was exhausted and the voices were coming and everything and it all uh, culminated together. Um, if anyone, if you want to know any more specifics about sort of how I felt, I could go into them. I guess um, this video has very much been stream of consciousness. I'm just, I haven't planned anything. I'm just saying it as I go. So apologies if it's kind of been a bit disjointed, but. Um, Anyway, that's that, and uh, I'll talk about my hospital experience in uh, another video. Okay, see you later.